Come, go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or our channel. Our channel. <laughs> welcome back. This is our um QA part two. I'm busy fairy film gonna be the kinaki ostiti we filmed and it it was raining and it was sound or it coming on a boy. So I wanted to refilm this again and I'm back with my black hair so we have to go out i'm traveling today so we have to go to office and stuff so we'll quickly do it for a half an hour yeah. and i'll upload this tomorrow sounds okay. good nah. welcome back to my channel yeah, our channel welcome <laughs> to you to my channel first question okay the first question was when are you guys getting married mm, i've never heard this question before me too mm. right? when are we getting married um good question <laughs> uh i don't know so I think first thing is you need to do what you need to do. We've answered this question, I think, multiple times. Yeah. But um, yeah, so our plan is that... Um, I just moved to Dubai. And yeah. I'll be there for maybe like six months. And from there, I want to travel to other places and work as a makeup artist, continue my career mm -hmm. as a makeup artist. Because, of course, baby, mm -hmm. I'm not going to stop my career. So like them back and forth to travel there. And so once we're together, because we need to start planning for babies. Yeah, she just moved and she's kind of focusing on her career. And I think most of you know this already. Um, that's also one of the reasons I think now you disclosed it, why Pesto Beauty was yeah. on sale and uh, Inara is closed. And so um, it's it's more that, you know, she she's going to focus on her career and I lay, uh, that doesn't mean that you know you can't get married. Career to buy by So once you get married, it doesn't stop. So yeah, when um, I think next year, Tiga, we're still planning. We're yeah. planning. So the plan is around next year, but uh, her focus is on her career now. So let's see how that goes. Goes and where it takes her, and there shouldn't really be yeah. like a deadline. Yeah. See, so supportive. <laughs> Maybe uh, next year, within two years, we will do it. So that is your answer. So please stop asking us this question <laughs> again and again. All right, third so, Q&A, same question again. Yeah. How do you guys handle long distance relationship? <laughs> you Sorry, I just remembered. This. How do we handle long distance relationship? Um, I'm actually liking it. Of course, I miss him. I miss my family. I'm alone there. I don't miss the ones that are always a phone ma. Um, the only phone my pura boy rounds and he's been very helpful. Ma, what I move with a kiri puni or mere koti visa or go pura. Abo koti dere abo makeup gorne abo work permit and license or koti lino pani theo. Ani this ko lagi koti researcher gorne theo. So we're together like more involved. Koti dere pura mane amati a move bako day one the hine. So this to usko kami ba just as a feeling. I think. About uh, long distance, for example, I'll give you a question. Uh, long distance say that is something that I would find difficult. But I let I think because it allows you to focus on your work, allows me yeah. to focus on my work. Not that you know we disturb each other while we're here, but it's it's something that I because if I spend the whole day with you, then it I know what's already going on, so it doesn't excite me as much to hear what's going on for you. And it's not nothing new to me mm -hmm. when you come back home from like work and then you explain to me, ah, oh, you got it, you got it, and. I can only imagine like what kind of place she went to and what she was doing, what kind of work, and it, it, that is exciting. So I find it nice to hear about her day when she comes back from work in Dubai. And I'm sure you've seen me happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I, I, of course I see you happy because these are the things that you've always, always dreamed of de doing. Yeah. So that's uh, that's the nice part. So I I don't mind the long distance relationship. Of course, Mr. Mr. Of, Plus we meet every month. Yeah, I live, I live every month, two months. Yeah. So, but if, if that becomes like six months or a year or years, then I think that would be, of no, course, I very difficult. If, if it, I mean, I can imagine like long distance one. Like most people who ask that question, if they've been in a long distance relationship, it's probably been for long periods of time either that they haven't seen each other. Mm. So that does make it very, very difficult. I let I saw you like last month and then the month I'm before gonna, that. Yeah, so I'm going to come back in a month again. So. Yeah. So that that's made it easier. To, so I'm not gonna. We're not gonna say like long distance relationship is easy as a but it's not so, so hard as well. For for us, for I mean, us, I can't speak for other people. And mm. also, skopani abo koti dere. I let's say I think we're super busy. Afni kamma niya songe boy rakhe bani. Zeki unsa bani. Especially me, I always wanted to go 
out and like explore and you know work as a makeup artist also if any any of the level like something got it on you i need to go i need to go i need to go on it and every day but it's in a like they are me so i look at it we needed that space yeah. we needed to give a look at a girl color space to work as well and you know a look at it balance one of them so i let's say it's well it's balanced. good yeah and i'm, I'm liking happy. it but about daily though you know i think i'm not mm. gonna let this go for like two three years or so so One hmm. year, one and a half year, go like it. We can manage. Yeah. Was David supportive when you wanted to leave for Dubai? Good question. Hmm. As for you, when? Yeah. I'll give him a mention. Gary said he's been very supportive, not just with my. Abo, he's a very helpful guy. Things like the me helpful to just just like any help going for so. So my life, he's been very helpful with, um, like I mentioned, okay, na. With my visa stuff, Kotti Kura Ruta, he's helping me with best of operations so that I can go and you know live my dream. So that's very supportive of him. And yeah, Zano Agari Puni, we let Zayli Malay remind God like that he was the one to push me. Like the midere, that you have to go now. It's time for you to go. I'm not a dancer, dancer boy, not a dancer, but the Kaili boy, not a boy. Like he, I was, I felt so stuck, and I was just complaining, and he. He was like, "You, it's time for you to go. Time to my remain got it active." So, you. Well, it's your motto, no? Yeah. If not now, when? Man says I live in Malay. So. So two pura man says I live in Malay. Then um, stuck ke boy rakhe, but he pushed me. He was the one to push me. Then me there. So sab banda supportive to me too. And he still supports me. Yeah. He's very. You're supportive. doing what you love doing, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy very happy to have you. Oh. Yeah, with that, I'm very, very. Do what you <laughs> love doing is what I say. <laughs> yeah, am I supportive? Yeah, very. Hmm. Yeah, don't you? You help me with my work when you did. Yeah, that's what I like about us. You support me from all help, the stuff that yeah. I like doing. Exactly. So, mm. these are not so very opposite. Ulay gawno man lagni kura malamon pade na malay gawno man lagni kura malamon pade na. So we do that for each other. Ah, ikaw yako business man, we help, and um. It's very nice. Uh, you mentioned you proposed David Dai first. How did you do it? How did you do? She mm. meant approached. Yeah. Um. As simple as that. I want it. I get it. Sorry, yeah, I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah. I wanted you get it. <laughs> That's why I'm so supportive. <laughs> going. Go get it. <laughs> so I, I just told him. That I like him and we should date. And yeah, I was very open. I was very. That's how. That's my personality. Man, my kid could have been a more fatter boy than the person. So that's how I approached, and that's how it all happened. That's true. What's it? I'm a bit opposite. I'm always think. It's a good thing. Uh, I think about everything a lot before I do anything. And yeah, so I was a little bit shocked and surprised. When she was so straightforward and uh, <laughs> I was like, "Whoa, what's going on?" <laughs> and you know, the I mean, next day I told yeah. him, "I'm gonna get married to you exactly in two years." He freaked out. It's been two years, by the way. No, not two years. <laughs> <laughs> six months. It'll be two years. So let's go back to question one. So Ruma, he was so scared. Scared, but then he about. Pakka the better, cause so I'm like, "Whoa." Like you've never experienced that before. <laughs> That's why the go getter said, "I told her she's very go getterish," <laughs> and she went, "Oh, that's a good name for lipstick." Yep, <laughs> that's how I approached him. Oh yeah, and it worked. So Ruma is like them torshe ko thiyo. Now he knows me and he knows how I am. So he's a little digest and so on. Okay, anyway, let's carry on. For Lemmy, what is Davis dying to go to? What But, is the, sorry, oh, my go-to food. Your go-to food, and same for you. Okay, you go first. His go-to food is uh, anything uh, with no spicy um, spices or any masala. No, that's not true. Ah, एकदम तो डाल ले खर्चा निकाल कर पीरा तो खाने हैं ना, but I like spices. I don't like bland food, of course. Because सुखा रोटी मत खाला है सुखा रोटी. Of course, I like stuff on my food. यार उसको गार्ड करते हैं ना, तो मैं डाली के तो बुझ दिया है ना, so. सो गुड 
that's not my go that's not my go to food that's just all food that you described not just what they're asking what's the one food that I would like more than others just the time with you don't even know I know you just eat everything that's true I do eat everything I can't think of anything either yeah exactly he eats everything chips chips that's not really my go to food it's not go to food so every Saturday is usko gorma Belgian fries and stuff Yep. So you like that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say that's a go-to no, food. No, no, no. He's okay just... with anything. Yeah. So yeah, my go-to food. He said batu. Astia. No, I said batu ko pani puri. No, this is even worse than chapati. The go-to food would be that snack. I yeah, know. The snack you that go I go to everything. Just like your... Your... Uh, all this food that I... Disc- like that I would say that you crave for all the time would be pani puri would be ramen ramen is my go-to food because mm-hmm. when I I live in Dubai I live in Dubai I live in your go-to food ramen that's how I lived in Mumbai because that's my go-to food Easy pani huncha, spicy pani huncha, mitho pani huncha, and ek chhin mai basto bhok lagi ra ko huncha kaam bala and be so tired and it's five minutes and you're done. So yeah. ramen is my go-to food. But yeah. I crave for a whole bunch of things. Yeah. Momos nowadays. Yeah, momo. Momos. You don't say momos, it's momo. No, when you eat more than one momo, it's momos. It's called momo, just momo. I know it's called momo, but when you eat more than one, then it is Coming momos. Down. Yeah. So, no, all the other ones. Okay. This video could take like an hour long now. So, my sup in Nepali snack or one person. I also like the like Korean and um, Thai and Japanese. And... I think I'm more like Asian, Asian. Uh... Yeah. yeah. Everything Piro. I think Asian, say, because things are Piro. No? Yeah. Oh, uh, your good food would be papaya salad. Sometime. Yeah. That was one. That a phase, phase, man. Honestly, they mean, like sometimes now, nigga, I'm kind of busy, so I get kind of busy, so I get kind of like in waves. I don't know. I feel like you're pregnant. What the <laughs> it's like you're like this tomorrow, no, and then up, and then we're down again. Hope it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> what made you fall for him, Lemmy D? I don't know. You don't know. Mm. <laughs> We're waiting. <laughs> okay, I fell for him before I even saw him, and a lot of you guys know this already. I fell for him before I saw him, before I um, met him. And I fell for him because everyone has good things to say about you. Because like he's very kind nice, he's things? helpful, he's humble, oh. he's, he's uh, of course, a very good looking guy. Very tall, he's 6'2. So as early photo take the head, it's yeah, I'm tight. So it's not because I'm short, it's because he's tall. I'm, <laughs> I'm perfect for Nepali Kitty <laughs> Um but yeah, I mean um more than his looks, I think his looks are yeah, his bonus, but as uh, his personality and as a person you're very humble, very nice, very helpful, very supportive, very smart. He knows what he's doing. I at the Overthink or so, like the couscous is out, but I can reserve when it's her. So, you don't have to mention the negatives, you can. I mean, reserve no, what we like, out. you know. Joking, joking, no, no, no. But after I met him, say, I'm a pile of Sunda Sundani, I wanted to see him, of course, the race I wanted, and I met him, I approached him, and now it's been one and a half years. So, I let I fall for him every day. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was. And because he's he's a very nice person, he's very genuine. He's of course go, cause he's not amro bande na, and supportive. And ekdam he supported sa, my le ke laio ke khayo ka goyo just ke was tapen goyo dena ule. But he supports me. By the way, abo Madhubai ma bus ta kiri. I'm home all like 
I'm very introverted and I like to stay at home. I don't like to go out and party and stuff. So it will a push for. So I have to go out, meet friends, like you know, like a refreshment. So I can push for some of this to It's it's very supportive. He's he's a perfect boyfriend for me. No. No. And I always say I'm very lucky to have him. I mean he's more lucky to have me, but I'm also <laughs> lucky to have him. I am. I know. That's true. What made you fall for me? What made me fall for you? Um, no. So you're very complimentary. So you always, like, like you did now, you always point out good things. You're a very positive person. You're always telling me, you know, just like you did now. That's why I just sat and listened. But you, it's not just for the video. She always does this. She always says, you know, um, you know, you're supportive and need, uh, compliments me on my good sides um, so she does like to look at the positives of life I'm not perfect of course not you know, I've got a lot of negative things that piss her off that I know also but um, that's the kind of person she is she's a positive person and he, more, more as opposed to her I'm more not negative but realist so um, I don't compliment as much and I'm always like oh is this still gone? Is this still gone? And you know, I'm like oh, and you, you know like what about this what about that you buy when you and you know me less though so it brings her down a little bit at times but then they uh, mainly like what I'm I think it's a good balance uh, uh, in the way that I, I feel like her positivity brings me up um, and then my not negativity my Realism, realism, realism kind of keeps her uh, grounded, Vanona, because sometimes uh, she's. You gave an example, no? Um, mm-hmm. There's um, there's this show called uh, Modern Family, and in it, there's like this one line which is really nice that they said um, says that you know like uh, the you would think that the dreamers her would find the dreamers and uh, that they would get along together, uh, and the realists me and other realists would get along together, but more often than not. It is actually the dreamers who get along with the realists much better because without the dreamers, the realists would never fly off the ground. And without the realists, the dreamers would fly too close to the sun. So, so they will melt. Yeah, and then, yeah. exactly. So it's the example of Icarus who flew too close to the sun and the wings that he glued onto his arms melted and then fell down. Is it a movie? No, no, no. It's a Greek mythology. Oh, okay. It's like a Greek mythology where, yeah. He learns to fly by gluing feathers to his, uh, well, making wings by gluing all these feathers to his arm and then it flies to, but then he starts to get excited and flies too high, too high, too high, and then too close to the sun, melts, mm-hmm. and then falls down to the earth. So there you go. Mm-hmm. Dreamers find realists. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was, I was talking about, sorry, I don't know why I got sidetracked. So uh, what made me fall for you? Because, yeah, your positivity for sure. But even before... I met her, I knew who she was, of course, and always admired like what you've done in your life. Um, again, I, I didn't really know much about makeup. Um, I didn't really grow up with, uh, with girls. So, uh, I, of course, I didn't. You grew up didn't. with girls? <laughs> no, I said like girls in my family. It was just my mom. He was not surrounded. Um, yeah. So, or I didn't really know much about makeup, so I didn't really know about uh, her career and so forth. But I didn't know who she was. I, I knew she was, you know, like a hardworking woman who like really made, made a life for herself and made a career for herself and became such an inspiration for a lot of people. You are. Um, so I, I knew all of that and I had tremendous amounts of respect. So when I did meet her, of course, I was, you know, quite impressed and uh, you like that. Um, so before I met her, of course, I had a lot of respect and admiration, but I'd never met her. So of course, I can't say I was already in love with her. Um, but I mean, she is beautiful. Um, so of course, she would grab anybody's attention. Uh, so it's not to say that, you know, of course, when I met her, I was very enchanted by her. Enchanted. Enchanted by her. Um, uh, Nah, now I fall in love with you every day a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> this is your, your line. I'm a bit dramatic. <laughs> but then that's the thing, like you say, I don't compliment you. 
And then when I do compliment you, you go, eh. <laughs> you're like, not swine, but you know, like, and like, she says, I don't get her flowers. So now I get her flowers when she arrives. And she goes, <laughs> so I, can't, I can't ever win because if I do compliment her, she says, eh. <laughs> so, I'm a, what to do? Um, how hard is it to handle independent successful girlfriend wow how hard is it to handle an independent successful woman successful i don't know yet but um i i don't i don't feel like i need to handle her i mean she can handle herself very well um i handle I, him <laughs> you have to handle me <laughs> um yeah no I, I, I don't agree with the question so much in the sense that um like, why do they have to handle? Yeah, exactly. She she lives in, uh, lives an independent life. Um, so she's very you know she's very good at the things that she does. She she gets around. I mean, she goes to Dubai, does everything. I wouldn't say she does everything herself. She does call me and go. I don't like filling out forms. Can you do this for me? So in that sense, she is independent. But then she makes me do things that she doesn't like doing. So I was just joking around. But um, I don't I don't need to handle her. She's she's super. I mean, I like the fact that she's independent and. You know she's a strong woman um and that's actually one of the things or one of the many things that attracts me to her because she can you know she can look after herself um i think i would be more annoyed if it was somebody who was super dependent um i i wouldn't want a girlfriend or a wife that relies on me for everything that i you know because yeah there's substance no there's like yeah. a purpose to your life um and it, that purpose shouldn't just be you know, just me or, you know, tomorrow, um, I don't know, kids or just just one sole thing and then be dependent on the rest of, well, everything else. They, uh, but I mean, may depend on the third, I'm not, you know. So, yeah. Just to handle going up and keep in China. My mood swings are already China just to put in cassette. I'm very unbothered. No. I don't yeah. Care. She yeah. is very lucky to have me. <laughs> well, I don't have to handle you, but that I, you, you have... You have happy moments and you have sad moments and then of course yeah you're listening. how many times like that is my question in a day that Watch you get up. so annoyed <laughs> like uh, that you want to scratch yourself uh, <laughs> is that handling not handling but no, no. dealing it's um, dealing. dealing how no. many times do you get annoyed and do you want to bang your head like <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is one of those moments no, no, I'm just joking. Um, I know. Uh, she's, like she said earlier, she's a, a more dramatic than I am. So, again, my realism brings consistency a little bit where I'm just like, I'm sort of in the same mood throughout the day, maybe. Um, but then you're like super happy now. And then it you call and then you're like super pissed off about something or like, and then sad because, well, Asti, the puppy example, for example, she, uh, there's a puppy who ran into our house uh and then uh yeah and then she ran out and was like oh this puppy is lost and he's like being chased by others and like and i was like no maybe it's like somebody's puppy down the street or something yeah she was like no 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 look she, he's so filthy this can't be somebody's puppy so it, like she washed him and like took care of him and like almost like cried and and then uh, and then found a home okay. for her the puppy okay, that's it. Anyway. And then, and then that, that person couldn't take that puppy because all night it cried for a mother or whatever. And then she had to bring it back. And then the puppy came back to my house and then the puppy ran away from my house again. And then we realized the puppy was down the street in the, and she was sad for like the whole day. And then like, then she saw that the puppy went, uh, it was, I'm going to tell her, go to the house, go to the but it just lives there close to that like food thing. And then all of a sudden she sees the puppy and she became very happy because it had a home. So happy, sad, happy, sad, angry, sad, happy. Oh. Even in Dubai, he, this one day he calls me and is like, okay, mm -hmm. I have to prepare myself because I don't know what to expect. No. <laughs> you know, that for three months I did not work in Dubai. Like I was struggling. In, about, no. I had a really good portfolio. I was doing so well. Then I moved to Dubai. And I had like a very gap neither. So I had to start from zero again. And then my next time I didn't get anything. And he mm. was there too. I was mm. so pissed. I was angry. I was mm. sad. I was upset. And he actually my mm. would be happy. And for three months, I let it for them because I'm working like I'm working a mm. lot now. Mm. So the first three months it will have been garo with my mood swings and he would call me and like I don't know what to expect today. 
<laughs> so, but yeah, it's been a very no, good I, journey. Again, I, I don't, I don't see that as handling. I mean, you'd be able to handle the, that that own situation. Yeah, dealing, but even just supporting. Like, I don't know if today I'm, you know. Like I said, I'm supposed to be happy with you on the call because you're going to call me up going, wow, I did this fantastic thing today or I found this amazing job today. Or if you're going to, you know, call and say, hey, you know, like I still haven't got a job. So I didn't, I didn't know what to expect in that sense. But always I, you know, I went with you. Um, like if, if, but that, that's the thing. That's the balance we were talking about because if you went, you know, I'm like, a good job we got us and this, I know, an agency, but then I'm like, you know, babes, don't worry, it's, you're in a new place. Yes, you have this right, amazing right, portfolio right, yeah. that uh, I'm just like, just calm down. But then on the other hand, also, like when you get super duper happy, I'm just like, and then well, super duper happy is good. But then she's like, oh, now I'm going to get money. So I'll, you know, move to another apartment. I'm like, hold on, hold on. It's, <laughs> it's just one job, you know, like let it just come in steadily and then you can start thinking about the next thing. So he's so, always giving me a reality check. Like, don't yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. Sometimes Find good out. things, sometimes yeah. really pisses you off <laughs> that I don't... don't so there's another go. question. What do you like and dislike about Bina? <laughs> go. Dislike is this. He gives a reality check. All, All the time. <laughs> Even when it's not needed. When I'm so excited about something and I tell him, Oh my God, I need to, I want to do this. This is a... But what if it fails? <laughs> 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 it's like a typical Asian mom, you know, like my mom is like that. <laughs> and you know, oh, maybe my sister goes to, but what if the operation, the bigger one, which is good. They're not all the time. You know, I made excitement and like, why are you so negative? <laughs> but he's not being negative. Yeah. The realistic. So like, the make you, much I think about, the the destination he thinks about the journey i know mm. that's how we think yeah Once the yeah. journey okay i have to get there i don't know how mm. uh, i know the path but i have to get there money i make you take you but if you mistake gori sakir i regret later uh -huh. then i learn from it maybe maybe not mm. but he's like well it is mistake gori then but he takes time i so, don't so, get so, there most of the time yeah and you don't get, <laughs> get there most of the, you know my denny's my friend she said cheap um pays more uh -huh. so basically he's like I have become different that I would go for it would say I to sale maybe like he can get better price banda 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 wait got that is good price the actual price but then got the border to go so you so, have to pay more okay <laughs> so it's like a <laughs> Russian thing so would say yeah very uh, reality check the rahma pani or silent treatment. I have never seen anyone who gives us those. It's the annoying silent treatment. But almost like a dog that got all like fight with me or like express. Uh, we express a garden. Now, but can you come on? You will like shoot a tire, right? Balls are normally. Balls are the thaw, right? At this point, like is everything okay? Like what is it? Mm, no, it's okay. Like some silent treatment, okay? And then Boru express gara, fight gara. I some I'm a fight for it. It's been like one and a half years, touch wood, no boros body, zagara for it's her because he gives silent treatment. Quiet. Except the bull then. And you know that's even more annoying. So yeah. I, I, uh, I don't you. like confrontation, I don't like to fight, I don't like It's it's called <laughs> arguing, baby. This arguing about you know, I'm running. I know. When, when things annoy me, I just kind of go, ah, yeah. screw it. I don't have energy to and his fight. Part. Which is also good in a way because we silent treatment in Sa. And this was the way calm down and we talk about it slowly. I have to cut this out. <laughs> no, I'm not angry. Imagine they started <laughs> fighting Q and you <laughs> Dislike is that. Like is Ogni Sakimele. I like everything about him. Just the silent treatment and being very realistic. Which is good and bad. Um the bike or is such a lovely, sweet guy, very supportive boyfriend, very like I'm very, very lucky like But it's um he's tall, he's handsome and he is how he looks. Man just to take some just to say. 
So yeah, he's a very nice guy. Thank you. And yeah, we're very compatible. I've said this before. Who spends the most money? Who do you think? After uh, meeting you, <laughs> stop. Ah, uh, you don't spend that. Much. No, but depends on what. I know. Yeah. I think you spend the most money in terms of. No, you don't actually do that. No, well, he's I live shopping or uh, spending money because. But I think travel and stuff like my. I, you, you travel back here all the time you on holiday and stuff like that so i think that's probably where most of your money would be spent i live um, uh, let's say i would spend left and right i will hmm. uh, come out i even come on the come so hmm. ramry come on through and then i i would buy all this designer hmm. bags now i'm tr trying to sell them because i don't hmm. like it anymore hmm. so all the style when you change with so now i regret i will left and i did the they can no man like me to cast a use for you know i let's have become very mature hmm. and i think twice before I spend my money. Mm -hmm. So after meeting him, so I've learned a lot. <laughs> Who lets a J could happen? I know, but I think the other thing is also, uh, before you were only doing jobs and you, like work, no? Um, mm -hmm. uh, let's say it's not a salary, but you, you do consulting work and so, so you get paid. And then, but now with Pastor Beauty, with Nara, and so you started doing business and investing in things so, so i actually invest mm. my own money like yeah. my personal money ne invest kari sake pachi chai tyo alikati tyo alitke bhanne tyo paisa ekdam it's going ekdam round and round and round my ke tyo haath ma kaile aundaina people think that i'm making so much money traveling mm. this that no once you start yeah. your business the money is it yeah. never comes to your hand it's it's just like I'm reinvesting to it. I go pay on a pare, that's what's a pay on a pare tax. So I think after starting my business, say I um, I'll take think you have uh, uh, when uh, well, when you do business, I guess you have like disposable income becomes less as opposed to if you were if you get a salary, all of that salary can go to whatever you want to spend it on. Right? Of course, God could be low to it out of the buyout, huh? but whatever's left, you, you spend on what you want. But business ko paisa it's like or whatever you earn right now, you like sometimes have to put it into the business because you have to invest to get new products and this that now, yeah, and that research and like yeah. A year. I mean marketing, travel, all that sort of stuff. Um, so in the beginning, you had to invest a lot of money yourself, and then take money. So like whatever comes out, you put it back into the business again, and kind of keeps going around. So what's up? Because it's still easy. Easy when I want to buy that easy. So, so, now I've started working now, like I'm going to do things and like buy stuff. But for the past two years, it was not that easy. I live in financial stress. So I, I want to be very mature and I want to be wise about money, you know, where I spend my money. I want to be wise about money, you know, where I spend my money. I want to be wise about money, you know, where I spend my money. <laughs> it's two things, not like uh, now, you know, like because uh, you want to do both. You want to, you know, like you you want a business. You want your, uh, you know, your, your, your own makeup line mm -hmm. that you have. Um, but the other side is also if you have the the work that you do now, so you have a good balance of both. Abu Saudi, what did you know? Abu Dubai, Marin, Gada, Abu Paisa, Saudi. That business ma ali tarahnu padena. Abu Ali gum na thali sake. But it should just reinvest in itself. And then eventually that investment yields me the boli parsi gar ab aile ko laya nanti the investment is like for 5 10 15 20 years later so uh for today kaza gana lai you have your you know earnings from your career and then you have your business for the future so you're building on something yeah right? that's, exactly i think we talked about it last time mm -hmm. but so, i it was not that easy financial uh, mm -hmm. program up and now it's become better it's getting better let's get mm -hmm. better so I will be spending a lot of money. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. Like, if you you spend the money that you have, if you start spending the money that you don't have, then you're in trouble, right? No? So once, it's a reality check. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I think when you have the disposable income, then you, of course, I would never sort of say, babes, you know, don't spend on bags or whatever. Or, you know. But I don't know. If something makes you happy, I I do say, look, you know, you can spend, but then. I also say, look. Like, what about um, this? What about, about that? You if, have to do more important things than this bag. Yeah, if if I know, for example, you have to pay a lot for your, uh, I don't know, for rent. your trade license or rent or your your driving license that you have to do now in Dubai, you you know that you're gonna have to save up for that, right? Because it's super expensive there. Then I would. 
tell you, but wouldn't it be better that you keep the money now so that later you can spend it on there because that is a necessity, whereas this is a luxury. So this tomorrow, you know, you can buy a bag or a coat or whatever you want um, when, you know, when all of that is sorted out. Mm. And test the yeah, you, I, I didn't really I have to convince you much. I have, uh, yeah. I've become like that because mm. I think after moving back to Dubai, when you have a subway mm. business, I experienced a lot. I went mm. through so much this past one year. Oh my goodness, I can't mm. even talk about it. But uh, I let's say I've become very mature once a month. I know that's... what I'm doing. I know mm. I know what the... I have to do. I think that's that's kind of how maybe you change after you met me but the other thing is my perceptions also changed uh, about the I mean you used to spend on travel and you know like uh, stuff that you like and then you also made me realize that for you it is uh, it is an investment because it's you know you you stories you you know the, my yeah exactly and you you know people follow you not just for makeup but also for style yeah, tips style. fashion tips lifestyle tips um stuff like that and that's also something that i really admire you look good every single day as opposed to me who you know wears that old torn shirt for, <laughs> for years that you have to throw out so i think i need to spend a little bit a little bit more on myself also at times um so it, it's nice that's that's the balance we were talking about earlier also um but the one thing we both agree on a lot is we're both happy to spend on experiences things like travel uh, food um just stuff that makes memories um stuff yeah i that, think uh, i would spend more there than okay. yeah huh? definitely but yeah huh? that was the uh, that was it that's the last question and mm -hmm. i'm traveling today i will be back in two months and we're going to do another q a yeah. are you going to come to dubai to see me um no <laughs> i'll come um, i think two months to one so the mazele uh, and i think so and i'll also um, I'm also starting my um, starting for Nalila. I'll start filming. I mean, online class go, course go, make a video zaru. Once I go, I'm quite excited about it. So I'll come back to Nepal to film uh, with Nepali faces. For your online courses? Yeah. yeah, in a month or like two months. And we'll do another Q&A. Thank you so okay. much. And I'll be very active on YouTube. Because I've been super busy. Mm -hmm. And I post my vlogs on TikTok. But I'll try to be active on YouTube as well. Otherwise, I'll take over the channel. Sure. And I'll start that making makeup fun. videos. <laughs> With who? Um, well, since you're not going to be around, I'll just have to find other pretty women to do makeup on. Or Good for you? As long as <laughs> but then after, after I do the makeup, they're not going to be so pretty anymore. So don't worry. <laughs> we split the money 50 50. Okay. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, and thank you for the questions. Yeah, thank you for the questions. It was a fun one. I did enjoy good. a lot. Yeah. yeah. Really Bye. Dramatic. Guys. Maybe. Bye, one of the two. Bye, one of Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>